I've been thinking so much about all that's going on in the world and at the same time I finished um, a painting that I've been working on for months and months and um, some interesting thoughts have come up for me because usually when I finish a painting it's kind of bittersweet because it's the end of a cycle which I've already had a conversation about but then the new cycle is an interesting thing because I bring a white board up here to have I mean a new a new canvas for me to start painting on right away because I like I like to continue the momentum but something hap something always happens when I do that and part of it is that I look at what I did and it just feels like oh my gosh how did I do that and I hope I can do it again and then I start I start second guessing myself and wondering if I can do it again which has reminded me of something important that I learned a few years ago from uh, Doc Childra who founded HeartMath and I was lucky enough, grateful enough to, to go visit with him and I was telling him, this is some time ago and I was thinking of writing a book and I said I don't know why I just can't start, I can't get it going and, and you know also the world doesn't need another book and, and he said something to me that was really profound and still affects me especially as I'm starting a new painting. He said you have inverted ego and I didn't understand what that meant and um, and now I do it's sort of like you're like and it applies to now like where we are in our world right now it's like you know who am I to think I could do that or I won't do it because I don't because the world doesn't need it or um, f feeling somehow disempowered and that's such a um, trick our egos play on us to, so that we don't have to do something that we th think we should do or that we know we can do or that we're fearing that we can't. So that was one thing that came up for me um, in this weekend because in light of all the protests and everything that I support, I, um, I also myself have been looking at like, well, what part can I play and how, how, can, I, how can what I do truly um, contribute? So that was one thing. And the second thing that was equally as important to me is an experience I had um, going down the Grand Canyon long ago and on a raft trip down the Grand Canyon going through the rapids and all that and so we were going to do like an intense version of um, rafting down the Grand Canyon and the guy who was our guide said to us as we got down there and it was like 115 degrees and everybody was grouchy and we had to repack our bags and and um, and he wanted to give us the rules of the river and one of the things that he that he said to us was it's possible maybe even likely that you could fall out of one of the rafts at some point along the way because these rapids are intense rapids. We we're going to go down Lava Falls and some other ones before that. He said, so what I need for you to know is that you need to participate in your own rescue. Like if you, when you fall out of the boat, you need to figure out a way to get to the shore because we can't stop a boat, obviously. It's rivers going fast. You need to somehow get yourself to the shore. Don't run into any rocks. Don't hit them with your head. Climb out and walk downstream to where we can pull over and, and pick you up. And I have used that so many times in my life right now that we need to be a part of the solution. I need to be part of the solution. I mean, there have been times, I remember one time in particular that I was in a big rush, like which I have learned now as a result of these last several months of of time and introspection about rushing and rushing and not being present. I was walk. I walked out of a door at my home and the door was left open and it was a metal door and I turned to come back in to grab something and I walked straight into that door and I still have a, bru a scar on my forehead and it knocked me down and I, I started to cry because it hurt and it shocked me and my head was bleeding and <laughs> I mean, if you're by yourself, like, how long can you stay that way? You just have to get up and um, figure it out, you know. And and then I realized after that, I think I wrote a blog about it in one of my uh, former blog things about, well, you have to participate in your own rescue. You have to get up, wash yourself off, you know, make your life work and not have a big story about it. So those are some of my thoughts for today as I take this painting down from the easel and um, just let what comes through for me, what my intuition tells me to do, and do it. So I hope that's useful.
for you.